Breaker Broke 23. So this is a questions and answers video. Uh, viewer Greg Maliska, I think, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, asked me how do I get audio signal from the TV to the vintage receiver. So you can do this a couple ways and it, and it really depends on the TV. Some TVs have uh, RCA output still. Maybe you have an older rig. Uh, my TV does not. My TV has RCA inputs, USB inputs, HDMI ins and outs, but no RCA. So um, what I'm using on this is I'm using the optical audio output. So I've got it plugged into the back there. I'm using a 12 foot optical cable. And I'm running that optical cable into a DAC. This is my old trusty uh, shit Modi 3. I really like this DAC. They're like a hundred bucks. Very, very useful. I use it for a bunch of different things, but um, in this case, um, I use this to interface the television to the uh, receiver, the stereo receiver. So on the other end of that optical cable, it plugs in to the optical input on the back of the Modi 3. The Modi 3 converts it from a digital signal to an analog signal and gives me output via RCA outputs and then I hook those RCA outputs to the auxiliary input on the back of the Marantz and then I just put the Marantz on auxiliary and uh, I'm good to go. Um, it's a very uh, good sound and of course that's all dependent on you know the quality of the broadcast signal some programming sounds better than others another way you could do this too if you have like say satellite dish like I do um, I also will go and hook the optical cable into the back of the satellite dish however understand that if you do that um, and you want to use your smart TV for on like the internet mode or something like that, you won't get audio out from that. So what I usually do is I just keep it plugged into the back of the TV. And uh, that's how I do it, Greg. There you go. I hope this helps some of you guys out. And thanks for watching.